guys, welcome to game three between Ninja Ob and Ball. 12 o'clock location, we have Ninja as the pink Terran bottom left hand corner. We have Ball and huge apologies to Michael. Michael is going to be the advancer. The advancer? He will be in the round of four <laughs> and either be facing. So, other three finalists that are going to Chobo League round of four are we have Mighty, we have, and now I'm blanking on. On the other, we have Agistel, who is actually my favorite to win the entire thing at this stage, just because he seems to be able to win. Hold that thought, though, because Ball is sneaking out with this initial probe before scouting any base. So he's looking to do some cheese. And one of these players, and it looks like, yeah, we're going to see Pylon in the middle of the map. This is a three-player map. This is Sylphid. So a couple critical things on Ninja Ob's part is one, so there's the supply depot, is one, when does he send out his SCV scout? And two, does he scout clockwise or counterclockwise? Pylon warps in, this is where we're going to see the uh, usually 910 gate or 99 gate. The middle of the map. And also, I'm curious to see Ninjo's micro abilities against Zealots inside of his base. Building the bear. Oh, I'm not sure I like this positioning for this exact scenario because this is kind of the defensive location where you can sneak the Marines in between with the Zealots, and this is where your actual SCV line is to provide some defense. Here's that SCV scout moving outside the base. Probe is moving in. Find a little bit of disruption. Is he going to go clockwise or counterclockwise? It looks like. Oh, is he going to see this? Scouting across the middle, sees it! Wow! Smelled it somehow. Maybe because of when that probe scout came across. Pylon blocking what could have been the... the. I like the SCV attacking the pylon to provide a little bit of delay. I think he smelled that off the delay of when that probe entered the base. He's like, this probe is coming from an odd angle from where the normal scouting pattern would be. And also... This SCV attacking that pylon, if Ball's not careful and doesn't deal with this SCV, you could be in trouble. Bunker going down, shield battery going down, probe in a bit of trouble, and I think Ninjo might advance off this, because he's already got an SCV in that bunker, the shield battery down, and SCVs in position to provide some additional defense. Repairing the SCVs just in case. First sell it in. I don't think he can even get to that shield battery. Second pylon warping in, just in case. Okay, did manage to get the shield battery. Second zealot forward. Wandering his way across. He's going to try to split the attention of Ninjo. Four SCVs trying to deal with this one zealot on that corner. Here's the thing, though. This SCV has not been engaged, and that pylon is getting lower and lower on health. Zealot in the SCV line, disrupting a lot of mining there for Ninjo. But keep in mind, as long as he lives... They'll be in a pretty good position because this is a lot that has been dedicated here. Second zealot's been taken out, or first zealot's been taken out, and the pylon's down. That is that is unpowered gateways, so it's just going to be these two zealots trying to deal with this. And I do believe this is in fact Ninjo's game, his game to lose. Trying to get that factory down, another zealot down, final zealot getting just linebackered by those SCVs, and now. The Marines can comfortably sit inside this bunker and congratulate each other that they've won the war against this particular Protoss opponent. There's the GG from Ball. Good luck next rounds. Ninjob advances. Round of four, incoming. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.